Hi, welcome to Garden House Studio TV. My name is Peggy, and this is my husband, Wayne. Hey, you're just in time for our next DIY video. Come on in. So today we are going to be making a, um, well, it's, it's a sap bucket, and we are going to be decorating it for Christmas. And we get these sap buckets. We live in Vermont, so it's not that difficult, although they are getting harder and harder to find the old ones with all these dents and these ding, dinged up dents so that they really look vintage. So I'm going to show you what they come like. So they come like this. They're galvanized buckets. We get them in different sizes. Some are watertight, some are not. Some are rusted a lot, some are not. But we pay the same price because they're literally old sap buckets. I have painted this bucket with, with a coat of primer. I cleaned it really, really well. And that is what's most important um, when you're going to paint metal is to clean it really, really well before you put the paint on it. So I cleaned it really well. And then I put a coat of primer on it. And then I put two coats of Wise Owl One Hour Enamel in Veronica Vaughn, which is this great red. It's a beautiful Christmas red. Um, red is one of those colors that you need a little bit. It's like black. Red is perfect for having just a touch of red in your decorating. Um, the other thing about red is that it is highly pigmented and it's really most difficult to wash your brushes. So you wanna wash them right away. But it also needs several coats for coverage. And we are going to use, and this is one of our, these are placemats. This company is called Moynihan Paper. And we buy these placemats, but we use them a lot for decoupage because they're perfect size. We can cut them up. They're actually kind of heavy for decoupage, but they're, it's going to work just fine. So we are going to put... St. Nick down here, and then we are probably going to use as many of these other um, parts of this as we can. And I, so the sap buckets always have a hole in the back, I mean, if you can see that, I'll show it here, where they're hung on a tree, um, where it would have had a nail, where it would have been hung on a tree. And they usually have a front, so there's a seam here, a seam here, so it's pretty easy to tell where the front is. So this is the spot that we are gonna embellish today. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this by ripping this a little bit so I don't have those super sharp edges, but that doesn't always work real well when the paper is this thick. I don't know if I can use my water method, but I'm gonna try. So the water method, when you have tissue, all you have to do is go around your design, let it absorb some of the water, and then it's real easy to rip it and one of the reasons you want to rip it is because you get a you actually get a better edge for um it's not so um straight but it's also kind of thicker and it also doesn't have the shine to it that the rest of the paper does and this might just work a little bit we'll see how it goes you're getting that pretty pretty wet there And then we usually just let it, yeah. So then what I can do is I can kind of rip it and I get a better edge. As you can see, it's a little bit, it's got a little more texture, a little more substance there at the edge. So we've got four pieces and we'll save the rest of this because you know, we might just use that too. So I think we're gonna put this guy a little bit off center. Gonna put him over here, but isn't he perfect on this red bucket? 
So what we're going to do is we are going to put some decoupage on the back of him and then some a little bit on the bucket. So I'm just using a one and a half inch brush and let's just put it on the back of this. I forgot my towel that holds my, or a customer said that cut a pool noodle in half when I'm working on a round out a can so it doesn't roll around. I thought that was a great idea. Of course, I don't have a pool noodle either, so. Okay, so we'll put a little bit, we put some on the back and I'm gonna put some here because I always seem to miss a spot. So once this dries, we'll also go over it with this exact same medium, the Wise Owl varnish, and this is a matte and not a glossy surface, not a glossy, um, let's put a little more up there. And this paper absorbs it really fast. Here we put him down. I'm gonna start from the middle and push, push it out with my finger. I don't mind wrinkles, but I don't encourage them either. <laughs> and I can see there's nothing there, so we'll put a little more over here. but you don't want it in globs like that. And you always have a couple wrinkles when you're doing it because you're stretching your paper. Just remember that, don't panic. You're stretching the paper and that's what happens when you stretch paper. that edge down, make sure it's down. And that actually came out really nicely. So here is, and no wrinkles. Look at that, no wrinkles. Starting from the middle helps. Okay, now, because it's a Christmas bucket, we definitely wanna put this right across the middle. So that is going to be our next step. And I'm going to pull some of that off there because I don't want it in blobs. But this is a matte varnish, so it is not going to dry shiny like that. And see how it, you know, it's when you're doing something round, you quite often it's going to go up and down the, the lettering, but that's fine. are going to do one more part. We're going to put this over here somewhere, maybe up there. Where can we put this? I think I'm going to put it over there, over at the top. So there you have it. Set bucket, set bucket and $1.50 placemat. A little bit of decoupage medium, some paint, and you've not only got a great bucket, but it can be a gift, a piece of nostalgia, perfect for a little waste basket, great to hold kindling, and we are sealing it in, which is the final 
thing you want to do is you want to seal your decoupage and this is a super light and sometimes I would wait for this to all dry but I wanted to show you how we do it and like I said this is wise owl varnish which is what we use to glue it down and to seal it this is our Veronica red which is just the most perfect Christmas red So there you go, day four, holiday bucket. I'm trying to do this so you could see it. Hopefully you see how great he is. He's just a great, I think he looks better on a bucket than he does on a placemat. Here's our bucket. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in our next video. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.